I'm gonna get right into it guys. We're moving into the month of Chesvan, the Hebrew month of Chesvan. It is tomorrow, November 2nd through December 2nd, and it is a new moon in Scorpio. And we're going to break that down. I'm gonna do more of the luminary breakdown towards the end, and I'm gonna start off with the Hebrew uh, significance to the month. So this is the month, again, I said new moon in the sign of Scorpio under the constellation Scorpio and this is the month to tread on serpents and scorpions. This month of Chespan is the second month in the civil year and in the sacred year which we're currently in um, this was the the time given to Moses the timetable given to Moses um, the sacred year we're in the eighth month and so these are two powerful numbers and they come together to make a sum of 10 and so the two represents covenant it represents legitimacy it represents authority and it ties to open doors and the key of david connected to isaiah chapter 22 verse 22 and the eight represents new beginnings infinite possibilities eternal revelation identity material freedom, self-reliance, independence, freedom, confidence, inner wisdom, personal power, authority, professionalism, insight, and spiritual consciousness. Okay, so these are big numbers and powerful numbers and they come together to make a number 10, which represents a completed cycle and a new chapter that is beginning. Cheshvan is the second month of the period of autumn or the fall, which comprises the three months of Tishri, Cheshvan, and Kislev. And the three tribes that correspond to the months of autumn are Ephraim, Manasseh, and Benjamin, who in the desert encampment around the tabernacle were situated to the west. So their joint camp was known as the camp of Ephraim whose name means I shall be doubly fruitful. Every year we have access to a double portion as we align with the Lord during this autumn season. The specific tribe that is associated with this month of Chesvan is the tribe of Manasseh. And Manasseh was Joseph's firstborn son. And this makes the month that we're entering into a month to enter into a new level of joy. And this is just so exciting for all of us really. And when I put the breakdown out for last month, um, I said October surprise is what uh, I was led to title it. And I certainly got an October surprise. If you haven't seen my latest video where God blessed me with uh, just surprise, complete surprise finances and allowed me to be a blessing to someone who he led to me to through a prophetic dream and fulfilled this prophetic dream in such a beautiful way. It was certainly an October surprise, but November is going to be a November to remember. So I'm so excited for what we have to look forward to this month. So when Manasseh was born, Joseph said, for God hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And so this represents the spiritual uh, healing that we're going to experience. Um, Joseph forgot the toil and the childhood trauma, the rejection, the betrayal, the pain from the past that he endured in his household and in his childhood and throughout his life of challenges. So I'm so excited for the emotional healing and restoration that is coming for God's people this month. This month of Chesvan is also associated with the flood. So it was during this month on the 17th of Chesvan that the rain began to fall and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights through to the following month of Kislev on the 27th. 
And once it was ended, the rain had ended, God showed the sign of his covenant, the rainbow, to Noah and promised he would not destroy the earth by water again. So this month is the time of Noah's flood when judgment began. And it just symbolically um, shows us that this is a month of judgment, a but also a month where we can find safety, a time where we can find safety in the covenant of God. Praise God for that. There certainly is shelter in the Most High. And so then the 17th of Chesvan is is it's tied to the completion of the first temple. So uh, the first temple was completed by King Solomon in the month of Chesvan. And I believe this points back to the number 10 that we had talked about and it being a completion of a cycle. And now we are the temple of God and he's completing a cycle within us so that we can house his glory. So this is... Um, also significant to this month being the month of the Messiah. So the month of Cheshvan is linked with the Hebrew letter Nun, which relates to Jesus as the heir to the throne. So this has to, to do with the number two that we had talked about, um, this month being the second month on the civil calendar. And this just signifies how we are co-heirs through Christ, causing us to share in Christ's suffering and his inheritance and spiritual blessings and in the authority that we have and how we possess the keys to the kingdom now through Christ as we are co-heirs with him. So in summary, this month is a time of new beginnings, a time to forget the travail of the past. Oh, praise God. A time to receive anointing that activates you as an heir to the throne. And this is the month we move towards our legacy. And now I'm going to discuss a few things going on within the luminaries. God set the luminaries in the heavens to be for signs and to be for seasons and markers of important times and seasons. And so this is what the Lord is sharing with us about this month. Um, so we're in the month of Scorpio. Chesvan is associated with Scorpio and the ruling planets of this um, luminary is the planet Pluto, the planet Pluto is associated with what we've been talking about in this, this, this movie that is playing out in the heavens between, um, the underworld and God and his people and us being soldiers, Perseus in the earth and our, our, fight towards defeating the underworld, right? So we're being brought back to this play. And so the ruling planets of this constellation house is Pluto and Mars. So the planet Pluto represents Hades. It represents the god of the underworld. It also represents transformation, destruction, and things that are hidden. So this could, on a personal perspective, it could be things hidden in our subconscious mind that need to be discovered, need to be looked at and let go of and removed so that we can really step fully into truth. But when we're looking at more of a collective or on the global scale of what this could mean, this could mean that things that have been being done secretly, secrets, um, things that have been hidden, things that have been covered up, that those things will be brought to the forefront, that they'll be exposed and brought to the light. And so that the collective can um, take a good look at what's actually been going on and really come out of the delusions of what they thought or what they were told was happening and really step into the truth. So, you know, humanity could be getting a good dose of the red pill, the truth pill. Um, this month of Chesvan. Something I found really interesting about Pluto is that Pluto's name actually means wealth and it is associated with the accumulation of wealth. And so as the Lord uh, showed this to me again, he, he was giving me confirmation of why in his word it says that the wealth, uh, the riches of the sea will be brought to his people. And so 
This goes back to the play of Perseus, Medusa, Jonah, and the sea monster, and Hades, the belly of the well, the underworld, that as we defeat the sea monster, as we defeat the queen of the coast, the, 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 the principality of the sea, the Medusa, and the sea monster, uh, as we defeat the underworld, not only in the um, earth, in the world, but within ourself, the underworld, um, within our own self, the lies and the things we try to cover up, as we bring those things to light and let them go and we overcome them, um, and we take authority over those things and surrender them and um, submit them under the power of Jesus Christ, we will see this accumulation of the riches held um, within the underworld be released to his people. Okay, so moving on, the second ruling planet for the constellation Scorpio is Mars. And Mars is a warrior planet. It's associated with action, conflict, and it can reflect the way we pursue our goals and take challenges head on. So the new moon in Scorpio will be rubbing shoulders with the planet Jupiter. So the planet of Jupiter is a planet of growth, abundance, wisdom, and good fortune. And there is an alignment that causes a trine with Saturn, the planet of discipline, hard work, ambition, and tangible rewards. So trines are really fortunate energy signatures. Um, they show that something good is trying to be brought about. Okay, so um, it is a great time at this new moon to set new goals and achieve successful outcomes that and those successful outcomes and goals that we set forth to achieve are actually going to have long lasting results so definitely take advantage of spending time with the lord at this new moon strategizing with the lord and really taking a deeper look within into your own personal underworld subconscious world and um, don't be afraid to shed light on certain places that maybe you want to keep hidden and stuff deep down because now is time to release those things and you know just move forward in, in purpose and just without the baggage um without the the regret or the shame or whatever is tied to those things that we want to keep hidden in the dark right and then we've got the full moon on the 15th of this month and this will trigger uranus the great awakener to truth so we may see some shocking world events unfold this month and this can truly open people's eyes especially on the financial front as this full moon is going to be in the sign of Taurus and Taurus governs money acquisitions property all of those things so we may even see an admission that things are not as good as they had initially said it was on the financial front and we could see well-known brands or institutions close or announce closures this month we could also see the launch of new global apps or technology that changes how we advance in the future as a society okay can anyone say crypto digital currency wealth transfer currency the wealth from the underworld from the bottom of the sea um, okay, so so these are just all signs in the heavenly bodies pointing to what is coming forth. And this is a time of, it's also a time of great light bulb moments, okay, that bring about big ideas that help us transform our lives and help us move forward in a powerful way. So be ready to receive innovative ideas from the Lord, um, inspiration from the Lord. Just really be ready with your pen and paper this month to write down whatever he drops in your spirit to obtain, help you obtain wealth and stability in your own life and build that in others' lives as well because it's all about um, helping others and, and, and just really helping society become stabilized through Christ and through his wisdom, through his love, through his grace. And so this is what it's all about. We want to stay anchored to what it is all about. So 
Okay, you guys, so I had no idea until um, just a few days ago that this month of Cheshvan, this month of November, the star Algol, which is Medusa, which we've been talking about, will be visible in the constellation Perseus, okay, throughout all of November. And it's really going to be triggered by this new moon. Um, Medusa is in the constellation Perseus. So this is a showdown. This We're going to continue to see this storyline, this showdown between good versus evil playing out in the heavens and in real life, in real time. So I was just really excited. This is... Um, really a pivotal month and i really believe we're gonna see some big shifts i already have a taste because october was you know definitely a surprise I, there was an october surprise and i know it's just positioning me and readying me for even greater breakthroughs and victories and advancement in the month of november and in the months ahead so yeah we're seeing the showdown still take place between medusa and perseus and we know who the winner is who the victory has been given to it's been given to perseus which is it means soldier and we are the soldiers of the lord and perseus represents christ he's a christ figure um if you haven't watched my breakdown in my video go watch medusa and the sea monster as well as the trump and perseus uh breakdown video and it will give you more revelation on what God is saying through this um, storyline playing out in the heavens. But that is all for now.